Hello my, hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Cowabunga, Shimmer Mist, and Beauty Big Bang Ode 25. I've started off with IMK Peel Ease and here is Moonshine Manny's Cowabunga. It's a Ninja Turtle reference for those of you out there that don't know. <laughs> and we're going to go in with our first coat of Cowabunga and this really might could have been a one coater. It really was an excellent formula. Love the brush on these polishes. I mean, it's just it's so easy to use. Beautiful, beautiful polish. I picked this one up quite a while back and just couldn't resist. I'm going to cap my free edge here. And for those of you that don't know about this, we do this to help our manicures last longer. It helps with chipping. Hi Woody, how you doing? Beautiful polish, so easy to use. <clears throat> Next I'm going to top it with LA Colors Mermaid Magic and this one is called Shimmer Mist. This is one of those newer ones that I just hauled. And I'm going to put a coat of that over Cowabunga on all of the nails. I just, was, just couldn't wait to use this one. It just really jazzes things up a bit. Love it. I love those uh, little shards of hollow glitters. Hi, Woody, again. Gonna keep him busy today, I suppose. Bling, bling. I'm gonna top it with the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. Gonna get it to dry down. And I'll be honest, I wore it just like this for a day thinking about what I wanted to do. Sometimes I do that. <laughs> there we go. Nice and smooth. I'm going to cap that free edge with the top coat as well. So, so pretty. Yep, told you Woody was going to get a workout today. <laughs> He's a busy guy. I'm going to be using this Beauty Big Bang plate that was sent to me for a review. I'm going to demo it for you today. And I'm going to um, swatch it. It is the Beauty Big Bang 025 plate. I love butterfly manicures. I'll be using that Beauty Scraper and my Beauty Big Bang Stamper NSO2 from Nicole Diary. And as I'm getting used to doing, I'm going to be using this Burt's Bees Cuticle Balm around my fingertips for easy cleanup really does make a difference for me. So I'm going to get that blue film off of this plate, get it clean with some acetone, get it all nice and clean, and we're going to go in. And I am going to just use five images from this plate on all my different little fingertips here. And then I'll swatch the other one for you at the end so you can see what it, the image looks like. Now, my nails aren't very long, so I don't get all of the image on there. And to a lot of people, they might not even know that's a butterfly wing, but I, I still like the look of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you will see me fishing black stamping polish out of this bottle. I am getting near the end of it, so I'm trying to use it all up, I'm trying to use as much of it as I can. A lot of twisting and whatever, digging for polish. Don't want to waste none. But these images are picking up like so good. Love it. Big time. I love, love, I just, I, 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 it doesn't matter how many butterfly plates I get, I still want more. I love them. I love whole butterfly images, butterfly wings. I'm just drawn to them. And I figured with that blingy background, it would look cool peeking through those stamped images. Here we go with the digging. Here we go. Dig, dig, dig. Swirl and twirl. <laughs> but I guess that's saying something. If I've used up a whole bottle of this Nicole Diary black stamping polish, it just speaks volumes that it is a good one and I kept grabbing for it because now it's almost gone. <laughs> I just think these images, even though you can't, most people couldn't tell that they were butterfly images, they're still just beautiful. 
really pretty on the nail. And I will be having videos coming up here very soon with some super short nails on this hand that I'm painting today. And um, so I wanted to get this manicure in before I had to do that. I've got a really bad break on my ring nail and it's way up in the meaty part and the patches weren't holding for more than a day so I just decided to shorten them. So this is the last mani on those being kind of, they're not really long, I would consider that kind of medium nail. So here we go with the last image. I'm just going to swatch it on my lint roller so you can just see the image. I love this plate though. Love it, love it. And I will have a link for this one down below in the description box. Look how pretty. Love. That'd be great for reverse stamping. All right, now for some easy, super easy cleanup with the tape. Since we had that Burt's Bees on there, it just really is easy. <clears throat> Excuse me, all my sinuses are driving me nuts. It is the season. Spring pops open. Okay, now we've got this Nicole Diary Smudge Free Top Coat. I'm going to give you a little hint. I'm going to show you. I'm going to do a swipe. Put my brush back down in the bottle, get more, swipe, brush back down in the bottle and get some more, and another swipe. If you try to just do this like with those other ones, it's going to smear. I have smearing on a couple of my nails I'll show you here in a moment. But now that that is dry, I'm going to top it with the Posh Top Coat. Seal it all in, cap that free edge. And um, this is not my favorite smudge free top coat. I will use it because I paid for it, but I've got smudging there and on that one. Very disappointed. I've not had that problem with the Bundle Monster Maniology one or the Born Pretty. So here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.